This is Dominique. He's eight years old and along with his friends is eager to get racing at up to 65 kilometers an hour, just centimeters off the ground. There is a distinct lack of noise, however, as these carts race around the closed streets using electricity. The race is taking part in the centre of the historic Romanian capital city, Bucharest. It's no stranger to electric transport. There is a problem, however. Despite being in the centre of a major city, all these carts are powered by electricity and that means their batteries need charging. Instead of hiring noisy diesel generators or plugging into a supplied mains outlet within the city, these carts are taking a greener, quieter approach by using a dedicated Victron Energy solar powered charging trailer to fill the cart's lithium batteries. Each cart has its own 52 volt, 27.5 amp hour rechargeable lithium iron battery. They are either taken out of the cart and individually charged or within the cart itself when just a top up is required. Each cart has secure Bluetooth and the race controller limits the speed and power of the cart related to the age range of the driver race. A powerful electric motor makes the cart move at some frighteningly fast speeds. I like the drive and I like the speed. As a parent, it's a little bit scary because uh, 60, uh, 60 kilometers per hour, it's a lot. It's a lot for an adult as well. So yeah, it's scary, but uh, if he likes it, I support him. The whole event promotes electric vehicles, with a number of car manufacturers eager to show off their latest plug-in models. The trailer is made by Victron Energy and Darkom Energy. Darkom's based near the city and have been building off-grid installations, as well as design and maintenance for solar systems for over 25 years. Each side of the trailer has six 370 watt solar panels. Two smart solar charge controllers, one for each side of the trailer, transfers the sun's power to the eight 200 amp hour, 25.6 volt lithium iron phosphate batteries. These 48 volt 10 kVA quattro inverter chargers then convert the battery power into 230 volt mains. One quattro would be more than suitable if that's all this trailer was capable of charging. On the end of the trailer, a new Victron Energy product is being tested, and that's the electric vehicle charger. With a number of electric vehicles attending this event, they can be charged with up to 22 kilowatts of power from this trailer. The trailer arrived at the event fully charged, and during the weekend, the cart charging consumed 41 kilowatt hours of power, and the solar generated 30 kilowatt hours. So now that the carts are charged and the solar panels are generating more power, it's time to race. Five to 12 year old boys and girls are competing against each other in a selection of races. On the Saturday, the drivers follow an electric safety car around the closed streets of Bucharest to familiarise themselves with the course. Then they are left to race against the time in various qualifying sessions. These decide the driver's starting position in the Sunday's main race. Of course, some drivers are pleased with their results and some not so much. 11-year-old Maya is also racing and she's proud to be part of this male-dominated sport. This is my third year, but I really like the feeling that you get when you're going with that ski. You always get accidents, you, you, can't, uh, you can't get none, but it's okay, you have to go through it. 
With a quick hello from the city's mayor, Dominique has qualified to position four in his race of six. The day of the race is packed with nervous families. The police take this opportunity to teach the children about road safety and the vehicles they use. They are a lot more protected than the ones the children are used to. He saw it on TV and he wanted to start. Um, he was always um, uh, passionate about uh, cars and motorsport. And after he saw the, the commercial on TV, he wanted to try it. And after that, he, that's how he started. Kart racing requires dedication from both the driver as well as their family. I like because I race and because it has lots of speed. You have to go to do training twice per week and it takes around three hours, three hours and a half because it's one hour distance from Bucharest, the track. And you have the competition during the weekends and it's today, Saturday and Sunday. But because he's happy, we are happy for this. Three age range races later, and it's time to find out how Dominique has done. He came in at position five out of six, but despite this, thoroughly enjoyed himself and is ready for the next race. Not all the races are within major metropolitan areas, close to main sources, so getting power to charge the carts anywhere is why the Victron charging trailer was built. It provides endless energy for the kids' carts, using the power of the sun, and the trailer has been provided to the event at no cost. <laughs> 